Despite warnings of high heat, the Ann Arbor Art Fair was crowded Wednesday morning. Come Wednesday morning, this is kind of a serious shopper time. Leaf Elias co-owns Orchid Lane on Liberty Street in downtown Ann Arbor. It's one of many stores that spill out into the street during the fair. We have the two storefronts next to each other, so I consider the outside area like our third store for the four days that we have. Others come from farther field to ply their wares. Vincent Edwards from Monticello, Florida, travels across the country to different fairs, selling his homemade backyard furniture. Well, typically this is my best show of the year. So this show is one of the biggest ones in the country. It draws people from uh, a big area. The show's reputation helps draw in all those out-of-towners, says jeweler Patricia McCleary. The show builds a reputation because it has a reputation for showing really great work. Then people make the effort to come out and buy. Although it's difficult to get into, it's worth the effort because you get to show with people who are just at the top of their game. It's also worth it for the sales. According to Elias, Orchid Lane brings in a month's worth of revenue in the four days of art fair. Others have more unique reasons for coming. I designed a shirt in 1990. There was a guy wearing that shirt, okay, right? It's in perfect shape. In 1990, that shirt, there's kids going to college here that are younger <laughs> than that shirt. So I mean, it's, there's a tradition, it's really cool. Jerry Berta has been coming to the art fair since 1974, but he has a new piece on display today. Uh, it's abstract expressionist, and so it's my US of art. Meanwhile, Carolyn Garay is exhibiting an entirely new tent. This is my first year at the art fair, actually. I was waitlisted and they called me yesterday morning. So, <laughs> I'm very new. For Garay, sales and tradition come second to the experience of being a part of the fair. Low expectations for sales. I'm actually feeling very honored just walking down and seeing everyone else's booth and um, just seeing all that goes into it. But most artists are still harboring high hopes for a busy fair despite the uncomfortable heat. I'm thinking it's going to be a really busy morning, all four days. You're going to have a lull in the afternoon, and then traffic's going to pick back up in the evening. I, it's going to be super hot, man, so people got to stay hydrated. And Michael Miller's children hope it keeps getting hotter. My daughter and son have been coming down with us for the past three years to sell water and lemonade. Ice cold lemonade and water. Ben Freed, Ann Arbor.com.